How's it going guys? Gotta make this quick video. I uh, just got this really cool addition to the game room. It is a uh, PlayStation 4 kiosk. Uh, I got this from GameStop for free the other day. Uh, basically, uh, this kiosk group that I joined on Facebook, uh, they put a PSA out saying that GameStop starting to uh, let, let these things go, starting to get rid of them. So I called up about 14 or 15 of my GameStops locally, like no joke. And uh, all of them were douchebags on the phone except uh, one guy, Chris, from Seekonk, Seekonk, Massachusetts store. He was really nice on the phone. He said, matter of fact, I'm actually disassembling one today, and if you want to come pick it up tomorrow, you can. So, uh, unfortunately, I got COVID the next day, so I had my little brother. He went by, he, uh, he scooped it for me, but this thing's awesome, so I'll just uh, I'll show you what I got. All right, so uh, this is the kiosk, uh, as you can see. It's in pretty good shape. I'll do a quick walk around. Sasha, knock it off. All lights up. So a little backstory with this, like I just said, I called a bunch of GameStops up, uh, and only one of them was really had a pleasant experience on the phone with. Uh, so basically, GameStop is starting to phase out these uh, standard kiosks. Uh, I'm not really sure if it trying to replace them with a playstation 5 one or they're trying to get to make room in the store because you know how gamestop is there these days they're selling less and less games and more and more like t-shirts and stuff so i don't know if they're just trying to make room but anyway so i uh, called up the gamestop uh he was like yeah i'm taking it apart today actually come pick it up uh only thing you can't have is the tv and the system inside um which is fine i wasn't expecting a free tv or system the only thing i'm a little bummed out about is with i could take the tv mount the bracket that mounts in the back of the tv but basically it just hangs on to this and then this little cutout right here is for the uh the camera uh so i gotta try to figure something out to kind of hang on that when i get another screen for this but yeah other than that it's, it's in really really good shape uh before i left um they told my little brother to go grab the key because the key is pretty important with this i gotta see figure out where the key is oh, here it is it's a lock on each side and then basically when the, both sides are unlocked, this whole thing rolls out. Uh, there is the um, like the dummy system in here. I think I'm going to take this sticker off eventually. I think they put the sticker on there because uh, during COVID, they tried to shut down. You know, they took all the kiosk away, took all the controls away. So I think they just put this over there just to cover it, to, mess, to stop people from trying to mess with it. But that is pretty cool. Did get to have the empty uh, shell, the fake console, but... This is the inside of it. There's basically a power strip here that controls, uh, as you can hear, obviously probably the fans, you can hear that. Uh, it did not come with a power adapter for the LED lights, so this is basically a, or just a regular power adapter that plugs into like one of these things. But yeah, but it looks like the system will sit on, on this side and this side and it goes in there. And then you close it up. You just feed a cable through the front here. This is where your controller would sit. This is where the HDMI is. He left me the HDMI. So the TV will mount. And yeah, this is the whole kiosk. Uh, I think it's definitely cool. Um, not really sure where I'm going to put it yet. Um, it looked good there. But with the side advertisements, a little bit too big for the space. So I'm kind of leading on putting it over here. And then maybe putting the shelf over there. I'm kind of running out of space in here. Um... Also, I would also put the lights on in here, but the lights on this side of the room are not fixed yet from when I had to cut the ceiling up. But yeah, this thing is really cool. Uh, I'm really happy to add it to the collection. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'll be getting any more kiosks anytime soon. Maybe the original Xbox one. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, if you uh, want to call your local game stops or maybe even uh, drive by their dumpsters at nighttime. Um, because what the guy said to me is if I didn't get this, this would be sitting out by the dumpster so um like i said drive by your dumpster drive by your game stop late at night maybe you see one of these sitting there and load it up um the value on this thing like i said i'm part of that that uh facebook group for a little bit now um part of the weight stands right here is probably i don't know 350 to 500 it's kind of what the range i've seen in the in the in the group um with the tv original tv and all that good stuff maybe a thousand maybe a thousand dollars but not quite sure but like i said i'm not really into this to flip it. i kind of want it for the game room but uh 
yeah, I'll try to drive around some more GameStop, see if I can maybe I can find one that the TV was thrown away too. Like, I just really want the bracket on the back of the TV. That's the only thing I really want. But, uh, yeah, I just want to make a quick video, guys, showing this uh, this cool pickup. Um, this is kiosk number two. Uh, girlfriend's definitely going to kill me, so she's on vacation right now, actually. So when she comes home, she'll find this down here, and uh, she'll be a little upset. But, <laughs> yeah, like I would say, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and have a good one.